In this video, we will go through an entire translation process with MemoQ 2014, Release 2. We will translate part of the user guide of the Ambit 3 Peak Sports Watch by Finnish company Suunto. Very nice product, by the way. It's a small Word document that looks like this. It's only one page. And for this job, we also have a small Excel file that contains sample terminology in four languages, English, French, Finnish, and Swedish. So we will create a new project. We will import the Word document that I just showed you. We will then create a new translation memory. We'll also create a new term base. We'll import the sample terminology from the Excel file I just showed you. We'll translate the Word document from English into French. And finally, we will export the translated document. So let's get started. When we first start MemoQ 2014, we get into the dashboard. On the left-hand side, we have a list of news retrieved from the servers of Kilgray. At the bottom, we have a list of projects. It's empty since we are starting from scratch. And at the top, we have the ribbon, a new feature of MemoQ 2014, Release 2. For the time being, the ribbon has only one tab, labeled Project, that contains icons related to projects. So we want to create a new project, and for that, I will select this icon here. There are two ways we can create a new project in MemoQ, and in order to keep it simple, we'll select the second way, which is the standard way. I'll give the project a name, so I'll call it Suunto EN-FR. I'll select the source language, which is English, the target language, which is French, and I'll keep everything else as it is in order to keep it simple. Click on Next. Now I need to specify what document I want to translate. So I'll click on Import, and in my Documents folder, there is the small Word document that I just showed you a few seconds ago. I'll open it. Now MemoQ is importing this document, and we'll also generate a preview file. It's ready. I'll click on Next. Now I need to create a new translation memory, so I'll click on Create. I'll call my translation memory Suunto ENFR. The language is already selected. They are inherited from the project. Again, in order to keep it simple, I will accept all the defaults and click on OK. I'll click on Next. Now I need to create a term base. For that, I'll click on Create here. I'll call my term base Suunto. By default, the two languages from my project, English and French, has, have been selected. But in MemoQ, we can have multilingual term bases. So since in my Excel file, I also had uh, Finnish and Swedish, I'll select these. OK. Now, since I have this Excel file with sample terminology, I'll import these few terms. I'll click on Import Terminology. I'll select my Excel file here. Open. The first row contains field names, English, French, Finnish, Swedish. So they are already mapped correctly, except that I will specify for instead of English, I'll choose English UK. Instead of French, I'll choose French from France. Finnish, there's only one variant of it. And Swedish, I'll choose Swedish Sweden. OK, now MemoQ has imported my terminology. And indeed, I now have seven entries in my term base. I'll click on Finish. I'm now in the project home, and my ribbon has now three new tabs, Documents, Preparation, and View. I can select my document, and I'll click on Translate in order to move to the translation environment. Now I have several more tabs on my ribbon, Translation, Review, Edit, View, and Quick Access. But let's have a look at our translation environment. At the top on the left, we have the translation grid, which is where we are going to translate. It's a tabular interface with two columns, one for our source text, English, and the second column for our translation, French. At the bottom, we have the preview pane, 
where we are going to be able to get a real-time preview of our document as we translate. On the right, we have the translation results pane, and at the top, we have the ribbon that we already mentioned. So we can switch between tabs like this. And if we want, like in Microsoft Office, we can minimize the ribbon in order to get more real estate. Now, before we translate, let's have a look at the translation results pane. We already have something there, started démarrer. And in case you wonder where that comes from, well, that comes from a thing called the Euroterm Bank plugin, which frankly is not very useful, so I will disable it. I also want to display spaces between words, so I'll make changes to my settings. For that, I'll click on this icon here, Options. I'll first go to Terminology Plugins, and here I'll untick this, so we are no longer going to have the Euroterm Bank plugin active. Then I'll click on Appearance, and here I'll tick Show Non-Printing Characters. Now I no longer have anything in the translation results, and I can see spaces between words. I'll start translating, getting started, prise en main. When my translation is ready, I need to confirm it, and for that I can use this icon here. Confirm. The corresponding shortcut is Control Enter. When I do this, the status of the segment I just translated changes into green, and I get also a green check mark. I can translate the second segment, bouton et menu. I'll confirm it, Control Enter. I'll translate the third one. I'll confirm it with Control Enter. For segment number four, everything between brackets does not need to be translated, so I just need to copy from source. If I don't know how to do it, I can right-click on the target cell, and here I have Copy Source, which is Control shift s I need to insert a non-breaking space before the colon, and I'll confirm my segment, Control enter By the way, you can see that our real-time preview has been updated as we translated, so we have prise en main, bouton, and menu, and so on, and the active segment has a red frame around it. Now, with segment number five, we have three translation results, which are numbered from one to three. The first two results are terms from our term base, press to, bref pression pour, start menu, menu principal. And the third result, which has the purple color, is what we called an assembled fragment. So basically what MemoQ did, it took the parts for which there was a French translation and it inserted the part for which there was no translation. So that would be this part here, access the, that we need to translate, accéder au. Now I have my translation, I can confirm it, Control enter For segment number six, we have three translation results, but MemoQ did not assemble a segment from it because there were not enough stuff translated into French. So we have to insert them ourselves. For that, we have several possibilities. Either I can use a function called predictive typing. So if I start to, st to type B, R, I get a suggestion from MemoQ, bref pression pour, I can accept it with enter. or I can press the control key and keep it pressed down. I then get a pop-up menu with the different possibilities I have. I can select bref pression pour. Or I can also type control and the number displayed in the translation results pane. So if I press control one, I will get bref pression pour. I then type the rest of my translation. Now I need to type exercise, so I can type E, and I have exercise, ou un, and then C for counter, and I have my translation. Control enter. For this segment, I'll press Control one to get the recognized term, and I'll enter my translation. 
control enter here i have again an assembled segment so i need to translate the part in english control enter here i need to copy source so that's control shift s here i press control 1 and i'll translate the rest again control 1 this time i have an assembled segment so i'll translate this and in French, I'll go to the end and add the rest of the translation. Control Enter. Now I have a fuzzy match from the TM, 80%. Why is that? Well, the segment I'm now translating is identical to the previous one, except that I have some new text at the end. In sport mode, so I have to add this at the end of my segment. I'll confirm it. And by the way, there is an option in MemoQ where you can display the ongoing segment at the middle of the translation grid. For that, I can go to the View tab, and here under Active Row, I will select In the Middle. Go back to Quick Access, and in fact, I will minimize the ribbon now in order to have more space available. This segment I need to copy source, Control Shift S. Control Enter. Here I have an assembled fragment, so I'll translate the English part. Now I have again a fuzzy match from the TM. I previously translated press to increase a value or move up in the menu. Now I have the same except that I must decrease, so that would be diminuer in French, and I need to move down, so that would be descendre in French. You can confirm it. I'll quickly translate the next few segments. In segment number 21, I need to put this in italic. So for that, I can go to the Quick Access tab, and here I have an icon for italic. It's Control I as in Word. Same with bold, Control B, and underline, Control U. I'll quickly translate the next three segments. In segment 25, I have two tabs, one that corresponds to a small graphics and the other one to a tab. So I need to copy them to the target cell. For that, again, I'll go to the Quick Access tab. There is a function here, copy next tag sequence, which is F9. I'll click it and I get my tags. I can translate tips. Conseil, and the last segment. Confirm it, Control enter and now my entire document has been translated. I can have a look at the preview. I can even maximize it. Looks okay. What I will do next, I will move to the Documents tab and here I'll select Export, Export Stored Path. Now MemoQ is exporting my translated document and will open it in Word. Here it is. Now I have my document translated into French. So there you have it, how to translate a Word document with MemoQ 2014 Release 2. Thank you for watching. Do subscribe to my channel for more similar content. Do hit the like button if you found this video useful and see you in the next video.